Last Thursday, Hillary Clinton gave a speech to a group of Democrats in the state of New York, where she talked about the alleged defamation that she feels happened with Fox news reporting over the last week of what was actually in the Durham court filing. Now, Fox news used words like spy words like infiltrate to suggest that Hillary Clinton, of course, was spying and infiltrating the Donald Trump white house and the Trump campaign in Trump tower. And as Durham himself has kind of made clear, that's not at all what happened. And that sure as hell is not what was in that court filing. So Hillary Clinton used the word defamation, and that is not a word that should be used lightly. And I don't think Hillary Clinton did, but Sean Hannity, not to be outdone by Hillary Clinton, as reports started to swirl that maybe she's preparing a defamation lawsuit. Sean Hannity had a real simple message for Hillary. Bring it on. Almost daring her to file a defamation lawsuit against, I guess, both him and Fox news because Hillary said in her speech that there was malice. And of course, again, a word that she did not choose lightly in order to prove defamation for the public official, you have to prove that there was actual malice. That is the phrase actual malice, meaning they knowingly and intentionally pushed false information to damage the official. So she used that word and Sean Hannity responded by saying this, Malice? Really? It's called news. Hillary, we invite you to bring it on. So do it. Like 100% Hillary Clinton should file this lawsuit. Um, I am obviously not a Hillary Clinton fan. Never have been. I obviously voted for her in 2016 over Donald Trump here in the swing state of Florida. Uh, but I would love nothing more than to never have to talk about her again. She was not a good candidate. Um, and I hope she doesn't run again in the future. Now, having said that, I absolutely will defend her on this particular issue because to me, it does seem fairly obvious that Fox news misconstrued what was in that report. They ran with it. They were of course, one of the first news outlets to put it out there. Everybody else's crap was based on their reporting to the point where Durham, as I discussed in a video over the weekend came out and said, Whoa, a lot of people are overstating what I said. So. Could you easily prove actual malice? I think so. Would Fox news try to fall back on their usual defense? Like, Hey, we're, these are just opinion guys. You can't, nobody, no reasonable person, as they've said with Tucker Carlson would take what they say at face value. Come on. Well, it didn't get you out of trouble with the dominion voting systems lawsuit that you're facing for alleged defamation there. And I don't think it would fare very well in this Hillary Clinton situation either, because it would be exceptionally easy for Hillary Clinton and a good legal team to prove that over the years, I mean, hell, going back to the inception of Fox news itself, the network has clearly had a very biased agenda, a vendetta, if you will, against Hillary Clinton. Like that would be easy to prove. And of course this with the Durham misinterpretation would easily be seen as like the final nail in the coffin to prove defamation. Fox would have to prove that they weren't acting with actual malice, that they were acting on good faith, that they weren't a bunch of friggin' morons. That's going to be a little difficult, but Fox news likely could and would prevail in this particular situation because defamation lawsuits are unfortunately set up to protect the media outlets and not the people who file them. Now, Here's the thing though. She should still file it. Even if she knew she'd lose, she should still file it because the case is there, right? It's not going to get thrown out on the merits. You have a case, but I want her to file it so they can at least get to the discovery part of it. Cause I want to see those documents. I want to see the internal communications between producers, between hosts talking about that particular report you know, that court filing, because you know, you know, there is somebody in that email chain who says, this isn't actually what it says. How should we interpret this? There is somebody in there. That's the voice of reason. Now it's been many years since I have had communications with producers at Fox news. And I know the network has changed a lot since last I spoke to some of them but they were actually fairly reasonable people, at least back in the day. And I'm talking like maybe, you know, eight to 10 years ago, 
back when, you know, I had regular communications with them. They're not idiots. They're smart. So I have to assume at least a couple smart people are still there and somebody in that email chain somewhere, maybe in a text message, which would also be subjected to discovery is out there saying amongst, you know, other producers, at least like, this isn't true. We're going to say things that we know are false. That's where you got them. So at the very least, the discovery process is going to show us the disgusting inner workings of Fox news. And at best Hillary Clinton gets a ton of money and Fox news is forced to issue an apology. I'd say either way, that's a win-win for everybody that is not Fox News. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share. But again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.